week, Cincinnati voters will narrow the field of candidates for mayor from three to two. And tonight, those three contenders faced off in a forum sponsored by the Cincinnati chapter of the NAACP. Local 12's Brad Underwood is in Bond Hill with the case they're making to voters. Brad? Well, hi, Rob. Certainly a preview of things to come as we move towards the televised debates before the primary. But tonight, yeah, once again, we saw Yvette Simpson uh, attack the mayor on numerous different occasions. But for the first time in this type of setting, we also saw her attack Rob Richardson for his leadership days when he was on the board at the University of Cincinnati. But tonight, they all laid out their plans for housing, for a job creation, and for transportation in the city. The format was simple. Each candidate got two minutes to answer a question and a one-minute rebuttal. As expected, the three weighed in on affordable housing, crime and safety, and the budget. How to bring in more money as spending continues in the city faces a $25 million deficit. More economic development was the answer. So I understand development and investment more than most people in public life. And so I roll my sleeves up and I work with Ready, which is a new initiative to promote and attract jobs to the city. A total of over a billion dollars spent on Lime Street, essentially. Uh, and we need to make sure we create... It is an incredible cultural sea change to see our police department, which is doing a great job, embrace the change of the Clavern and embrace the idea of updating the Clavern. The Citizens Complaint Authority has not been properly funded. It needs to be because if, if citizens aren't able to engage in a, in a, and aren't able to hold our police officers accountable, uh, we, won't, we won't have a strong police community relations. Now, the first question from the audience was about Cincinnati being a sanctuary city and the idea coming out of Washington recently that because of that status, we would lose federal grant money. Simpson and Richardson both adamantly stood up for Cincinnati being a sanctuary city, saying they would fight Washington on this. Mayor Cranley continued his line of Cincinnati will continue to follow federal law. Reporting live tonight in Bond Hill, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Rob. Brad, thanks very much. The three will take the debate stage again April 24th. That one will be live here on Local 12.